team to try to keep them focused with uh, the two extra days uh, going into this game? You know, uh, control what you can control. Um, we. Uh, it felt like a couple of our practices, you know, the, the Thursday and our Friday practice wasn't up to our standard. And so I looked at it as, hey, we got two extra days now to get, a, to get it to our standard. And we practiced it much better. Now, I know it didn't reflect that in the opening moments of the game, um, but I was really, I was glad that we got that extra, extra, bit of, uh, get extra bit of practice to clean some things up. So, and again, it, you, you know, if you spend all your time being upset about something you can't control, you're putting unnecessary energy in there. So we talked a lot about that you know that we're we're a team about the process and and getting a little bit better each day and it gave us two extra days to get a little bit better and so that's what we focused on instead of the things we couldn't control yeah, the broad, nick the broadcast nick the broadcast you mentioned the early start how'd you over overcome those two turnovers there uh, well, you know, I think we just settled in. Again, you never want to, you never want to start like that, and uh, it, it was rusty. It was, it was really rusty, and um, and you never want to start like that. Give them credit too. They, they, they did some good things to, to. Um, I know they, they were in the right place with the, with the drop, and they, and they got pressure on Jalen on that. That's a good defense, and. Uh, and so we just, you know, I, I just give the guys credit of, you know, having a dog mentality, and, and it's okay, and, you know, that we were down ten nothing, and and they just kept playing, and they and they played a really good game the, the rest of the way out. Defense, defense held them to uh, throw was big when the defense held them to to three, and we were only down ten nothing. Offense came alive, and it was just a good team win. I think what you saw is. As, as disappointing as, as the, the slow start was, you saw a lot of guys contribute today, you know, uh, and that was just a great team win. You saw Jalen Jalen Rager contribute in a big way today, and I was really excited about that because he works he works his tail off at practice, and he's got a lot of talent, and so I, I was just happy to, for him to for him to get some play, make some big plays. Teron Jackson on defense, like you just you just saw it as a, a full team win uh, of guys making plays. So uh, started off rusty, but uh, they they bounced back uh, because this is a, that's the team that's the type of team we have resilient dog mentality next play mentality the hammer caught you having maybe a spirited message for Jalen after the fumble can you close in on what that was sure uh, Jalen and I are used to get uh, Jalen's dad coached him hard my dad coached me hard and so I think Jalen responds to tough coaching he likes tough coaching and I wasn't going to back down on him I thought he was careless with the football and I let him know that and uh, we're just honest with each other and so uh, you know sometimes it's, it comes off as it just you know that we're just talking through it and sometimes I got to deliver the message a little bit different but what a great job by him having that mentality just to, to you know he had two turnovers early and the first one's not his fault um, so what a not what a great he played a great football game today one of the best football games I've seen him play and so what what an unbelievable job by him of what he would he say flush it don't look at it flush it and then move on uh, so awesome job by him and uh, you know when you have a relationship you have a good relationship with uh, your quarterback, you're, you're able to have those tough conversations like that, and uh, we moved on, and 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 we and he played a great game for us. How did he respond Sunday? Sunday? Could he have played Sunday? Yeah, we we were anticipating him playing Sunday as well. well How did he respond school? in the moment to that tough tough coaching, and then? What did you see from him after? Like, like I said, he's. I think that's how you know. I know that his dad was tough on him, and uh, and I know Coach Staben probably didn't uh, shy away from yelling at him at all. And so I just think Jalen's able to take tough coaching, and uh, and you know, again, like I said, obviously he responded great because he played a phenomenal game uh, from there on up. How much did his ankle affect the game plan tonight? Were, were his marching orders to try to run a little bit less? Um, we did we did things uh, without going into detail for competitive uh, advantage reasons. We did things to to help uh, him out, and uh, and I just keep it at that. How hey, Nick, you had passing game tonight overall. He was twenty of twenty six, two hundred ninety six yards. How well did he look? Yeah, he was. He was. He was. The ball was going where it was supposed to go. Uh, when he needed to run, he 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 ran. Uh, the ball was accurate, um, and it wasn't. You know, uh, my college coach always would teach me that, or taught me that, like in a in a little bit of that drizzle, right? And when the field's a little bit uh, wet like that, that's a great day to pass. Um, and here's why: I know that's kind of opposite, but the defensive line rush slows down because of the the, the ground is wet. Uh, the de the wide receivers know when they're breaking, the tight ends know when they're breaking, the defensive backs don't. And so the fact that he handled that wet ball too. Now it just takes a little bit more concentration to catch the ball and throw the ball. And uh, 
but uh, he did an unbelievable job in, in some in some uh, weather that uh, required it. So uh, awesome job by uh, by Jan led by Jalen and uh, um, really good job by our skill guys and uh, and unbelievable job by our offense line protecting. And you you had some extra time as well, not only the bye but the extra days. You got Darius in that little tweak uh, on offense. He goes by Slay. Slay. Big play, Slay. Uh, yeah, obviously. All right. uh, you also <laughs> tried to draw them off on the two points. Are these some of the things you thought about, or were they? We had a lot of time to watch a lot of football, yeah. I mean, we we're always looking to learn. On the weekend. Yeah, see, so who, who was it? I think it was Paul. It was. It was, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, see, we we learn and we and we uh, we're constantly watching uh, things to make ourselves better. I mean, the part of getting better every day is you know not just with your own team, but w learning from others. Uh, and so, yeah, we, we had an opportunity to, to sit back and watch uh, some some of those things and uh, and learn from them. So, yeah, we we were able to implement a couple things and uh, do a couple things to break some tendencies. Nick, you guys are the first team I think 36 years to have seven straight games in 170. Yeah. Yeah. Is that just the offensive line? I mean, what does that it say takes, about it, the performance? It, it, it takes everybody. It, it does. It always starts with the offensive line, and we got some some gritty guys up front. And uh, I don't want to see. I mean, all of them. I mean, they all play. What a great job by Sue Opeta to step in uh, and, and play a great game too. To be able to to run the ball like we did and protect like we did. Uh, against a, again, like I said, against a really good defense that I have a ton of respect for, um, with some good good front guys, um, and so it starts there. Our backs, we got a good staple of backs. We got our receivers blocking on the perimeter. Dallas Goddard one, is one of the best uh, blocking tight ends in the NFL. Not to mention what he did catching the football. Um, I think Jack Stoll's really coming along, um, and, and Jalen just gives you another element to the run game that is that's hard to stop. Uh, you know, front side wins games, back side wins championships is what I've always been taught. And so I know that's not, you know, we're not in a championship mode, but it's just a saying that says back side so important and um, you know when you have a quarterback like Jalen that, that really has that, that makes the backside uh, they have to respect the backside in case he pulls it. At 7-7 seven seven with uh, three games to go how do you feel about where the team is and what was the message after this? Yeah, just you know, good teams win in December, and and they. The, my message basically was, um, you 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 take care of business in December, you enjoy it for the night, and then you move on to the next one, and that's really our message all the way through. But uh, we're on to the next one. Um, and so we, we enjoyed it because we played a good complimentary football game and, and played good at all offense, defense, and special teams. And uh, we'll we'll, uh, we'll get back at, get back to work tomorrow. Was there, Two more guys? Was there a considered effort to go up tempo? And if so, why? Um, Again, I, I won't go into too much of that with uh, competitive advantage, but we, we we do some tempo stuff, and, and we've been doing that uh, this year. And and I think when you look at our, you know, when we look at our self scout, um, we we've had success in that. So again, you want to when you looked at our self scout, we did a ton of different things for our self scout uh, during our bye week, but. When you look at that, you know you want to duplicate things that you've been doing well. T uh, tempo has been something that we've done well, um, and and so it was really, it, you know, we, uh, you know, you stay on the offense when you're uh, when you're going fast. And so, uh, really good job by Jalen communicating uh, Jason to get the the. Uh, I mean, Jalen and Jason have just done a good job of, of getting everybody on the same page um, to be able to do that because that takes great communication and great, uh, um, you know. Teamwork just to get the get that going in a in a in a fast setting. Hey, what does Harry what to, handle this week? Four days rest, Christmas work in there. How you gonna how you gonna manage that? Yeah. Um, so tomorrow they're coming in tomorrow um, to to get a lift, um, and they need a you know just with the. They need a break from our coaches. Like that, they just need a mental break from us. It's been a it's been a long week, and uh, as you guys can imagine, and so I think the best thing that we can do is uh, is is they can come in tomorrow, uh, get a little break from us, and then we'll get back to you know that'll give the coaches a little bit more time to to work on New York, and um, you know then we'll be back with the players as coaches uh, on Thursday. 
and you know it's important for our, our guy I mean it's it's gotten my, I've always been brought up God family football and so uh, with Christmas uh, coming up we uh, we have work to do and and we got to be uh, we got to get all our work done but you know I'm gonna make sure on Saturday you know instead of starting at eight uh, we start a little bit later um, on Saturday to make sure that that we're spending time with our family uh, opening gifts uh, on Christmas what about are you guys going to do anything on. virtually this week um Still talking through that a little bit with obviously just to, in talking to the doctors to see what's the best. I think um, <clears throat> we did a really good job this week, and it's a credit to you know our video department with Pat Dolan and our and and John Ferrari and and uh, just so many people. I don't want to I don't want to single I don't want to leave anybody out, but there's so many people put in so much work to, so that we could stay in person but be separated enough, and we have that great indoor over there to be able to do that. And we just and I mean again I, I talked about everyone contributing everyone contributed this week within the building and they and we do each week but it really showed this week uh you know which is some of the changes that we made just to, to keep our guys safe and and um so that was that was good just because it takes all hands on deck it's uh to to win in this league and so um just just be uh just glad to be part of this great organization all right we got uh, Dallas Nick Sirianni, he's on a roll. God, football, and family as we head into Christmas. He says the best thing we can do for our guys is to give them a break. They'll come in tomorrow, have a little lift, and we won't start coaching them again in earnest until Thursday. And you thought, well, maybe that wouldn't be the case because it is a very short week for the Eagles having to host the Giants on Sunday, but they will get a little break. He also talked about Jalen Hurts, and guys, we wondered about that just a little bit. He said his father coached him hard. My my father coached me hard. Uh, I dare I say that Nick Saban might have coached him a little bit hard. He can take that. Now, he was careless with the football, and I wanted to let him know. And it seemed like, Barrett, that Jalen Hurts was accepting of the criticism. You know, he's always been that type of player anyways. You know, he's going to accept the criticism. Uh, not necessarily criticism, the coaching that the coach is going to give him. He can accept that because he understands what it is um, that, you know, why he's saying it. He understands that this guy has, wants the best out of him that he can get. And if he doesn't do something the right way, he's got to get on him, let him know that's not acceptable. So, yes, I mean, he loves criticism. He loves coaching. He wants to get better, and he knows that's the only way he can get better is having somebody look in detail at what he's doing so he can become a better player. You know, it's intuitive of Nick Sirianni to know that he can coach Jalen Hurts that way because as a, head, as a new head coach, he's still learning all the other players on the team, okay? And sometimes as a coach, you have to coach – everybody else through one person okay so now what is the message that sent oh my god if he gets on the quarterback that way because the quarterback is the untouchable player in on in, in most organizations but all the organizations right when, when a coach can can coach the 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 quarterback in that manner that sends a message through the rest of the team you know and i would i would go so far as to say is not only did it light a fire under jalen hurts you know um, to, to get his head up and get his behind up and get ready, to, you know, to finish this game the right way. But it sent a message to the rest of the team that, hey, you know, you guys aren't playing up to the standards that you're supposed to be playing up to. We had a bad practice on Thursday. We had a bad practice on Friday. And the one thing that I know that when you have bad practice, in some way, shape, or form, they manifest themselves in the game, you know. So maybe... As much as we all complained about the game being put off, it was a good thing that they had the two extra days so that Nick Sirianni could get them back on the field, get some work, and kind of get them headed in the right direction. Or that first quarter would have bled over into the fourth quarter and we'd be sitting up here having, you know, a Grinch Christmas instead of a Merry Merry Christmas. Well, 